गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट वी आर इन द चैप्टर थ्री ह्यूमन बॉडी इन द प्रीवियस वीडियोज आई हैव टोल्ड यू अबाउट वी हैव रेड अबाउट द पार्ट्स ऑफ द बॉडी विच इज इन्वॉल्व इन द डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम ओके एंड टूडे वी विल सी नाउ द प्रोसेस ऑफ डाइजेशन सी एज द फूड वी ईट हैज that is that will be converted means converted in simple form so that it can be easily can observed by the cells okay and this is the process of converting food into converting complex food into simple and absorbable form is called digestion see the process of converting complex food into simple and absorbable form is called digestion okay and now further it is said that when the food in food in the mouth see when the food is in the mouth it is chewed okay chewed and broken down into the a bit simpler form uh, with the help of teeth and then in the mouth only uh, saliva is uh, saliva is uh, secreted by salivary gland okay and what saliva contain it contains an enzyme called uh, salivary amylase which is also called ptylene which is also called ptylene here p p word uh, p uh, alphabet is silent student so it is called uh, ptylene salivary and uh, amylase is also called ptylene see here the starch which is present in the food Uh, that is being converted into maltose starch is converted into maltose with the help of which enzyme with the help of salivary amylase with the help of salivary amylase okay now the food now it, uh, with the help of uh, when it is chewed it has been become more simpler form and uh, now it, it it is called as a bolus when it it become softened and mixed with the mixed with the salivary uh, saliva then now it become the bolus what is bolus semi digested food uh, become soft ball okay semi digested food become soft ball and now further the food is sent with the help of uh, through the esophagus, uh, esophagus where to the stomach as when the uh, food comes uh, uh, semi digested food or a bolus you can say bolus come inside the uh, stomach with the help of uh, esophagus that, that uh, in the, there the stomach food is churned with the help of contraction of muscles in the stomach in, in the stomach wall okay food get churned okay. and at that time a gastric juice a, a gastric juice which is present in the stomach itself a gastric juice contains it contains three things see hydrochloric acid water and two enzymes gastric juice contain three things please student write it hydrochloric acid water and two enzymes the name of two enzymes is a pepsin and renin pepsin and renin okay these things are present in the gastric juice and when the food comes into the stomach this gas the food is get mixed with this gastric juice this gastric juice means food is mixed with the hydrochloric acid with water and the two enzyme pe pepsin and renin then see what happens further as uh, the mucus uh, what is mucus the inner lining of the stomach stomach also secrete mucus okay the inner lining of the stomach secrete mucus and what is the function of mucus see this is the next uh, next what i am going to read that is the function of stomach uh, mucus uh, to protect the inner lining of the stomach from effect of the acid from the effect of the acid okay uh, the mucus uh, function is to protect the inner lining of the stomach from the effect of the acid now see the further uh, the this hydrochloric acid and two enzymes what uh, it, what is the function of it and what it does in the stomach the hydrochloric acid the function of it is it kills harmful bacteria and activate pepsin 
it kills harmful bacteria and activate pepsin and what is the pepsin the pepsin and renin these are the two enzymes as i have told you here pepsin uh, pepsin and renin are the two enzymes which is a uh, which a gastric juice contain okay now for uh, see what is the uh, work of pepsin pepsin breaks the protein molecule into uh, the smaller protein molecule called proteoses and peptone see pepsin and who activate the pepsin hydrochloric acid hydrochloric acid activates pepsin pepsin in an enzyme gastric it is a, a gastric juice contains pepsin and and hydrochloric acid also hydrochloric acid activate the pepsin and pepsin this enzymes what it does it breaks the protein into proteoses and peptidin these two are proteoses and peptidins are get converted and now it is small protein molecules large protein molecules get converted into small protein molecules and it is named as proteoses and peptidin okay further the another enzyme is a renin change milk protein renin change the milk protein into the casein into the insoluble curd see here the flow chart has been given in i have written for you that casein uh, sorry yeah casein what is casein casein is a milk protein what is casein casein is a, a milk protein Uh, which is get which get converted or which uh, in the further which get a, 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 become more in simpler way that is a simpler way insoluble curd and with the help of which enzyme with the help of renin renin is an enzyme which is found in the uh, gastric juice contain the renin okay and what does the renin do renin do uh, it convert the milk protein which is called as casein into the insoluble curd and that insoluble curd is called para casein para casein okay now see further now after the several enzymes act on the uh, food and get uh, the food converted into different thing like uh, uh, pepsin convert the, the larger mole protein molecule to smaller one okay known as pep uh, proteoses and the peptidin then renin act on the casein which is a milk uh, a milk protein and make it into the insoluble curd para casein now after that the food that becomes a chyme what is chyme chyme is a food change into pulp like thick paste called chyme okay as when in the mouth the food after the starch get converted into maltose then it become bolus same way same way in the stomach also when so many of enzymes act on the different like act on the protein act on the um, milk protein then these all things get converted into some uh, something else and then it becomes a chyme okay it is that that thing which is present in the stomach now is known as a chyme this chyme now for the pass to the small intestine and in the small intestine first is get into the as in previous video as i have told you that is small intestine has a three part the duodenum jejunum and ileum okay the first and foremost the food enters as the chyme enters in the small intestine means in the part of duodenum and there also uh, some enzymes act on that chyme and now make it in the more simpler form okay so please see as soon as the time enter the small intestine uh, in the small intestine so get the secretion like bile and pancreatic juice two secretion a small intestine get where in the duodenum part that is bile and pancreatic juice this bile is uh, get secreted from where from the liver bile gets secreted from where from the liver and pancreatic juice get secreted from where from pancreas the bile which is produced by the liver uh, it is stored where stored in the gall bladder student please write these things 
that is bile uh, which is produced by the liver is stored in the gall bladder and when as soon as uh, the uh, food uh, that is chyme comes to the uh, small intestine that gall bladder uh, secrete this uh, bile into the uh, duodenum part okay now see what is the emulsification of fats bile help in breakdown of the larger fat glucose into tiny droplets so that enzymes can easily act on them this process is called emulsification of fats see here bile help in breakdown bile which is secreted by liver helps in the breakdown of large fat glucose into tiny droplets so that enzyme means whatever the further enzyme i'll tell you the enzymes can easily act on because in on a larger part it is difficult for the enzyme to act on it so the first and foremost the work of bile is to break down that into the smaller okay tiny droplets that what that small larger fat glucose is get converted into tiny droplets and then on that tiny droplets now enzyme will again uh, act on it to make it in a more simpler way okay and this process of uh, making the food in uh, converting the food into tiny droplets is known as the emulsification of fats students here we have seen the bile uh, uh, contains uh, uh, sorry break down the uh, fat glucose into tiny droplets and then enzymes act on it okay so uh, to activate the enzymes bile what uh, what happen further bile contains the medium alkyne to activate the enzymes okay enzymes of a what a pancreatic juice and what are those uh, enzymes which is present in the pancreatic juice does is trypsin amylase and lipase these three are the enzymes which is present in the pancreatic juice okay mid uh, bile ju uh, bile contain medium alkyne to activate the enzyme of pancreatic juice which are which uh, trypsin amylase and lipase students now see in your book very nicely it is given okay so we will now see from the book what is the, uh, these three are the enzyme which is uh, present in the pancreatic juice and these three enzymes are being activated by the a medium alkyne and medium alkyne is present in the bile okay and see the first one is a trypsin a trypsin act on a protein it acts on a protein proteases and peptone and change them into the polypeptide okay why uh, now this uh, protein uh, proteases and peptone where from where does it comes it it has been already given i have told you in previous uh, 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 previous portion that uh, in this in, in, in stomach uh, the larger molecule of protein get converted into uh, proteases and a peptone uh, uh, with the help of pepsin pepsin is an enzyme now it has become what it has become proteases and peptone now this will be further break down into the uh, small intestine in the which part in the duodenum part that is only given here okay now a protein pep uh, proteases and peptone with the help of a enzyme a uh, trypsin uh, get converted into polypeptide okay see students uh, slowly uh, slowly slowly uh, the food has been acted uh, or uh, enzymes uh, the work on it and make it in the simpler simpler and more simpler form so that each cell each organ of the body can uh, observe absorb the uh, nutrient minerals uh, vitamins from the food that we eat okay so, so the food uh, make it uh, to can absorb that in each part these functions take place then amylase act on undigested starch okay the starch which is undigested get uh, changed into the maltose amylase act on the undigested starch and change into the maltose further lipase act on the fat okay different enzymes act on a different thing trypsin act on a protein amylase act on undigested 
starch and lipids act on the fat and change them into what change them into the fatty acid and glycerol change into the fatty acid and glycerol okay now further after when these see these all things happened in the duodenum part of small intestine now 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 these has been broken down into the polypeptide maltose and the fatty acid and glycerol now further it will move to the ileum part with the help of the jejunum part okay If these things is, it is written in your book that moves from the duodenum to the ileum through the jejunum here here the food uh, food acts as acto, uh, acted upon by the enzymes called erepsin maltase sucrase and lactase these produced by the different uh, gland present in the inner lining of the ileum and the inner lining of the ileum a uh, finger like projection as i have told you in my previous video finger like projection is present which is uh, called villi okay here the four uh, enzymes are there four enzymes which is present where uh which is uh, present in the ileum part of the small intestine and these four enzymes act on a different enough uh, further to make it more in a simpler way okay change on the peptone as it is a uh, ha huh. change on the peptone peptone and peptide to make it amino acid it becomes now amino acid and the uh, maltase change or uh, change the maltose into the glucose maltase is a enzyme student which act on the maltose to convert it into the glucose break down into the glucose okay now for uh, sucrose sucrase change the sucrose into the glucose and fructose sucrose the sucrase enzyme act on the sucrose and uh, make it glucose and fructose okay then the last is the lactase lactase act on a lactose into the glucose and galactose lactase is an enzyme which act on the lactose and they convert into the glucose and galactose okay see student in the page number 39 whatever things we have studied here in the previous uh, what happened in small intestine what happened in mouth and what happened in the stomach it is all summarized and given over here very nicely okay part by part it is given please go through it so that uh, you can understand it uh, very uh, nice and if you have any doubt please ask to me now moving to the further part uh, now absorption of the digested food okay see 90% of digestion take place in the small intestine 90% of digestion please student jot down the thing that 90% of a uh, digestion is done in the small intestine okay in this when a food get uh, comes in the small intestine uh, to increase its surface area like uh, the villi of the small intestine increase the surface area of absorption of the digested food means food which has been digested here the absorption uh, happens the process of absorption take place here and what is the function of villi villi uh, what do, does the villi do villi increase the surface area of uh, for the absorption student underline this sentence villi increase the surface area of uh, for the absorption of the digested food villi have the network of very fine blood capillaries for uh, food substances of first absorbed by the villi this will be the also function of villi that a uh, first the food substance is absorbed by the villi and then through the blood capillaries they enter the blood stream this process is called absorption this process is called absorption now for uh, again first is come to the food come into the mouth then it moved uh, there some part of the thing is uh, happened means then it comes to the stomach they had become uh, chyme in the mouth has become the wall bolus then chyme now it has come to the small intestine and then further in the large in intestine undigested food will move down into large intestine which absorb the water now left over thing is what water which is ab absorbed in the large intestine okay after absorbing of the water the undigested food change into semi semi solid feces semi solid feces which move to the 
rectum at the end portion of the digestive system it passes out of uh, the body at the regular interval through the anus okay that is the waste product this semi solid feces is a waste product which is uh, come moves to the rectum and then finally through the anus is move out of the body the process of eliminating undigested food is called ejection is called ejection assimilation of digested food what is assimilation see when the, the uh, uh, all the nutrients and uh, all digested things are uh, been uh, absorbed by the body absorbed by the different uh, different organ it is not utilized at the same time all the nutrients all the absorbed thing is not utilized at the same time that is been stored or converted and then stored okay so that is called assimilation that process which is you see here it is written not utilized by the uh, body instantly some are uh, uh, some are converted into the another form and is stored for the later use in that process is called assimilation see what is been uh, stored and uh, used afterward that is liver what does the liver do liver convert excess glucose into the convert excess glucose into the insoluble glycogen and stores it okay it convert excess glucose into the insoluble glycogen and store it for the future use and when required by the body when this glucose has been required by the body which has been converted in insoluble glycogen then what the liver can do the function of liver is to then again convert the glycogen back into glucose see excess of glucose is converted into the fat and stored in the epidose tissue excess of the glucose converted into the fat and stored in the adipose tissue further the fatty acid either provide energy or convert into fats okay fatty acid either provide either it provide energy or get converted into fat and depo uh, deposited under the skin okay and if this fat will be not utilized by the body or it will be no uh, anything will be not acted on it then this fat is only the reason to become fat to become fat okay it get accumulated in the body under the skin so we become people become in people become fat that's why we are telling so lots of fats are there in his body okay now again further it is said amino acid are used for a synthesis of the protein amino acid what is the work of amino acid is used for the synthesis of the protein means to produce the protein excess amount of amino acid get converted into the urea get converted into the which is removed by the kidney this is this urea is then removed by the help of the kidney okay and what is this urea urea is the excess of the amino acid are converted into the urea amino acid get converted into the urea and with the help of a kidney it is removed from the body okay so student that's all for today go through it and if any doubt please ask to me thank you